Hi, this is Paul Edwards with Danmark Company. How are you doing today? And I just wanted to introduce you to a different uh, method of treating or uh, direct contact for your vegetables of uh, veggie wash. Uh, veggie wash, the Danmark veggie wash, and I'm going to bring this up close to you here, is marketed through our website and we also uh, market it through um, some of the uh, local farmers market. Uh, veggie wash is a uh, home use uh, product that uh, is designed to uh, clean produce that is a fresh cut produce that comes directly from your grocer and cleans any kind of residual debris that might be present in it or any kind of odor odor uh, presence that uh, could be eliminated sometimes you don't smell anything sometimes there's a faint odor uh, so veggie wash can be used to as an odor counteractant as well uh, but primarily what we're talking about is just rinsing off any soils with uh, veggie wash uh, veggie wash is a calcium hypochlorite ingredient and uh, the ca this uh, veggie wash comes with a child resistant cap uh, so once you apply the uh, child resistant cap then uh, opening it is is uh, is very difficult for a child to do so without pushing down and so uh, that's the benefit of a child resistant cap is it just allows you to to keep uh, children from getting access to it uh, this also has a um, warning label on it just letting you know that you should wear with all household chemicals you should use uh, latex gloves or nitrile gloves to uh, keep yourself protected from the surface of any kind of chemistry uh, like bleach or any other household chemistries that could very well be uh, drying your hands by using them okay so um, veggie wash is a um, is a one one gram pellet that comes in this container and what we've done is we've uh, got a couple here that you can look at uh, I took uh, earlier today I used a um, pill slicer this one right here uh, we have a yellow one that we market but this is this is one I've had all, all, all along uh, but I have a yellow one too that we market and um, and those are very inexpensive uh, you can buy them directly from us matter of fact the gloves you can buy directly from us you can buy your pill slicer as well as your Danmar wash directly from us on on the website or uh, visit one of the uh, depending on where you live uh, your uh, farmers market may or may not have it but you know uh, under the Danmar fan page you can become a Danmar fan page you can go on and introduce this product to your farmers market uh, you get becoming a, a signed on uh, Danmar fan uh, what happens is uh, we give you your own personal coupon and with that coupon you can give that to people that you want to introduce the product to it gives that person a 5% off and it gives you a 3% finders fee and every time that person chooses to use your coupon to buy from either yeah from us you have to buy this directly from us when when they use that coupon to get that 5% off to buy directly from us then uh, you directly will get a a 3% uh, finders fee uh, for for your efforts to, to grow the the knowledge base and the customer base for this product Danmar wash uh, Danmar veggie wash okay so basically what I did is I I earlier today took a, one of those one gram slices of calcium hypochlorite which uh, chlorine is another active term uh, used to describe what what this chemistry is all about it's a chlorine base uh, chemistry chlorine like bleach sodium hypochlorite is a, is a chlorine so what I did was I took a half of of that gram, uh, one gram pellet and I sliced it I stuck it in this water here now uh, this right here is a 12, a 12 quart um, 12 quart this is called a Dutch oven and uh, for all practical purposes, I always thought these were called pots, okay, but they're, they're not pots, okay, these are Dutch ovens, but for those of you that think of it as being a pot, like me, you can call it a pot, but anyway, 12 quarts is roughly uh, 3 gallons, uh, so basically what I've done is I've filled it to 2.5 gallons, because on our label, 
it says take uh, one pellet, add it to five gallons, or you can take a half a pellet like you just saw right there and add it to two and a half quarts, or excuse me, 12 quarts, three gallons, or roughly I, I reduced it down to two and a half uh, gallons, and you can you can let it dissolve. It the 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 uh, the pellet half a pellet dissolves in here. It stirs, you stir it up, makes it ready to do. Okay, so there's a couple things I want to demonstrate. How how do you take uh, your product and uh, and uh, treat it? Okay, or 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 dip it into this unit. So basically, what I've done is I took the rubber band off of this. And uh, I'm taking these this this vegetable here, you all recognize it, asparagus, and I I'm gonna dip it this way. Okay, so one way to do it is just take your vegetables, take it in there, and dip it directly into the solution. Okay, and if you keep your hands free in there and you dipped it completely, okay, basically what's happening here is you've got complete submersion of the product, and all you need to do is wait. Uh, five to fifteen seconds this is a quick acting uh, chemistry okay that's that's one way that I want to demonstrate that you can do that now after you've done the dipping there then of course and I'm gonna move this pot right here for just a moment after you've done that then you take your little sprayer you move it over here okay you get that thing going mine's kind of like a little fancy sprayer because I've got a couple of triggering mechanisms there so now what I've done is I've gone on and uh, put in more of a sprayer downpour there of, of fresh water this is a pot of this is called a potable water print rinse for all of you that are not familiar with uh, the terminology so what I went is I went from a dip to a spray and the spray is just to get any of that residual present the chlorine the a uh, a gas okay uh, the active ingredient of chlorine is a gas and so the as the gas is trapped in a water molecule so it it does a really good job of the water molecule does a really good job of of carrying that and uh, that gas and then when you dip your your product uh, directly into it then basically what you've done is you've taken the uh, the chlorine in the water molecule and you've gone on and you know, rinse this out real quick and you let it apply itself directly to that that surface okay so basically what I did is I take taken a smaller pot or Dutch oven and I've uh, I've gone on and and uh, cure that I'm gonna show you a second method of uh, of treating the surface okay so I'm gonna get this bundle here, I'm going to spread it out here, okay, so you guys see that, see that how it's spread out in the bottom there, I'm going to adjust my camera a little bit so you can see a little bit better of that, okay, maybe I won't get a drum on, yeah, there we are, okay, perfect, bam, okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pot here, or Dutch oven that has that chlorine treatment, I'm going to take my little pellet out here because I'm going to be able to use that half a pallet later on. I just dumped the half a pallet directly into its container. That suffices. Now what I'm doing here is I'm taking the two and a half gallons that has a chlorine in it, pouring it into this smaller container. Okay, you see that? Okay, now I got it submerged. This is considered a leafy green. Leafy green. Stuff like um, cilantro or parsley or any kind of leafy green. Once again, see a little bit of discoloring there. And uh, that, that very well could be some of the soils that I'm talking about. It could be something else, but there is some vis visible discoloring when I uh, added that. So now what I do is I dump that out. Now, I'm not talking about discoloring to the plant itself. I'm talking about discoloring of the water. Okay, now I'm going to go and turn on my water rinse. Okay, this rinse doesn't have to be a dip. The rinse can simply be the 
the produce, the vegetable. And by the way, you can treat um, any type of uh, produce or vegetable surface with this product. So if you had an apple, an orange, if you had potatoes, anything, um, you can visit our website, uh, danmarco.net, that's D-A-N-M-A-R-C-O.net, and you can learn more about chlorine and the application of chlorine. We also have some test strips that you can use. People become so sharp nowadays. They know what test strips are. They know how they work. They know that they measure parts per million of a certain chemistry. We have chlorine test strips that will tell you how to, to do that. And so uh, you can go online and learn about the, the chlorine the test strips. And also you can also read about some, if you're one of those scientific people, you can go out and read some uh, scientific data from universities, uh, stuff published in, in the paper, uh, I mean in the internet, uh, you would, the key word you're looking for is chlorine because chlorine can come in in a calcium hypochlorite tablet or chlorine can come in a um, liquid bleach, liquid bleach, sodium hypochlorite is also chlorine is the active ingredient. And so, uh, oh by the way, did you know that your potable water has chlorine in it? Yes, it does. And so what we're doing is we're augmenting um, what you normally work with uh, in the way of uh, water chlorine levels what we did was we augmented it with our pellet uh, that half a pellet in this uh, Dutch oven pot is um, is basically uh, a uh, between a 25 and 30 part per million chlorine, available chlorine uh, parts per million. So it's anywhere from 25 to 30 parts per million, depending on how accurate you are on your water volume. Uh, that's what we're working with here. So you can learn about what that part per million does uh, to, to benefit you. Okay, so uh, that's my time. You've been great. And uh, once again, you can contact me through email. Uh, through the website danmarco.net, uh, visit our website, order some of this product, give it a try, and uh, we're just really happy for, for you to be interested in the product. So thank you, and have a great day.